and welcome to this video where we'll be looking at the exciting new synth from Dawson Music, Novum. The pad sound you're listening to is the first patch I created on Novum. Now, I'd love to show you how I created the sound, but if I'm being 100% straight with you, I can't. Because Novum uses a form of synthesis that, whilst very complex, has been broken down into some innovative sound shaping tools that encourage you to experiment and explore. If you're unsure what controls like the Tumble Flower or Synthify do, then I'd encourage you to just play with them and experiment. And if you don't like the end result of your experimentations, there's always an undo redo command for the last operation. I first came across Dawson Music when I bought the excellent Abyss synth about a year ago. And like Abyss, Novum takes a different approach to synthesis that's quite unlike any other synth I've come across. Both Abyss and Novum come with very generous 90-day trials, totally free from restrictions or annoying bursts of white noise. So do check out the synths for yourselves, and I'll post a link in the description. So what is Novum? Novum has a granular synth engine at its heart, with six individual layers. Drag and drop a sample into Novum, and it can decompose the sound into six layers that can be edited separately. Or, you can layer different patches by dragging samples into individual layers. Sound is represented by separating timbre and the temporal evolution of sounds, but you really don't have to worry about the technical aspects of editing or creating your own sounds, as everything is very visual and designed with ease of use in mind. Novum is a really deep synthesizer, so I can only really give you a brief overview of all the controls, so let's go through them from left to right. The burger menu at the top left lets you load and save sounds, but you can also load complete patches from the left hand side. And when you select them, you can mix and match different elements to really mix things up. Across the centre, you can turn individual layers on or off. And I'll come back to the main display in the very centre when I look at importing your own samples. The Tambra tab allows fine control of the grains, in a similar way to most granular synths. But the Tambral flower lets you select variations of the sound on the currently selected layer. The original timbre is in the centre, and as a rule of thumb, the sound becomes softer towards the top of the flower, more noise-like to the right, and more synth-like towards the bass. The next tab is the Envelope tab, which as well as the start and loop points for the grains, allows you to draw a new envelope. And if you mess up, you can always click Original to start again, or use Undo or Redo. A cool feature is to import the envelopes from one patch and impose them on another, by holding down the Shift key. As granular synthesis is based on samples, you can of course import your own samples. And you can do this in a number of ways. So here with an initialized patch selected, I'm going to drag a bell sample into the center. And you can see that the audio gets decomposed into six separate layers. I'm going to visualize that layer here. And the envelopes for each individual layer are represented along the bottom here, but of course, as you've seen, you can swap envelopes and you can um, just basically smooth them out if you so wish. But you can also import samples into each individual layer. Here I've got a piano note and I'm going to import it into the sixth and final layer by just dropping it into the sixth slot. And as you can see, it's put that at the, uh, as at the back there with its own envelope. Unlike a traditional sample, which changes the speed of the sample when you adjust the pitch, granular synthesis doesn't work this way. The speed remains constant. So something like, for example, a drum loop will remain constant as you move up and down the keyboard. So you could, for example, use the envelopes to impose the percussive characteristics of, say, a drum loop onto a sustained sound. The Syn tab offers 12 and 24 dB variants of high pass, low pass and band pass filters, as well as an additional comb filter. The Synthify tab gives a more synth-like character and has two different modes. Experimentation is really the order of the day here, as it depends on your source material as to the effect of this, but basically it makes a, uh, should we say, an organic sample slightly more synth-like. 
Here's an example of how a sound can change using the Syntify command. Let's take this harp sample originally from an S1000 and by dragging it into Novum and having a little bit of the Syntify command, it can sound like this. And if I call up uh, this one, which is called From Harp 2, you can see that I've got quite a long way away from the original harp sample. So with a combination of Syntify and the uh, Timbre Flower and the Homogenize command, you can really mould and manipulate sounds in ways that I haven't found possible in any other synth. Whilst we're on this page, let's have a look at some of the modulation facilities. So I'll take the frequency down to sort of a middle value, and whatever is selected can be modulated on this right-hand side here. So for example, if I now click on the plus, I can choose how I wish to adjust the frequency of the filter. So let's set it, for example, to mod wheel, and I'll dial in a positive value, and I can move, as I move the mod wheel, I'm moving it up. Similarly, if I wanted to take the mod wheel in a negative direction, I can do so, like so. Very straightforward, very easy. Similarly, if I wanted to map the frequency, say, to an LFO, I simply select LFO, and I can dial a value in, go into the modulation. Here's the LFO. I'm going to switch it off per voice so that it's for a free-running LFO. And you can see now the LFO is working. And if I go back to the synth, you'll see it's adjusting the frequency like so. I've opened up this patch I've created called Upper Atmosphere to give you an idea as the capabilities of the effects section. Now most synths these days have a pretty good effects section and Novum is no exception, including a decent shimmer. However, if you go to the effects section, it also has my personal favourite, Clouds. No prizes for guessing what inspired this effect. And most of the sounds on the demo piece that you'll hear at the end uh, come with a generous helping of Clouds on top. And to have a listen to it, let's just listen to this patch. I've released the keys and basically, obviously there's a bit of decay in the sound, but also the majority of what we're hearing now is that gorgeous reverb. Uh, the lush setting really gives you a sense of, uh, well, lushness for want of a better word, and space imparts a similar feeling. Gorgeous. So I've loaded up a track that I've put together quickly to show you some of the capabilities of Novum. And uh, let's run through some of the patches. Everything you hear, including the effects, is all from Novum. The only exception is the uh, few drum sounds which I've used Microtonic for. The first patch is the one I played earlier called Star's Birth. This entirely uses different elements from the preset library. And as far as I can remember, mostly what I did was I flattened out the envelopes. So if you actually go to the envelope section, you'll see that I drew in my own envelope so that the sound was less busy. There's also a command that I forgot to mention uh, under the timbre tag called homogenized. This will also give you a sort of, a, again for want of a better word, a homogenized effect. Everything will sort of glue together more easily with the homogenized setting switched on and it can help you give a more cohesive result if the sound sounds a little bit grainy or too broken up. Shortly after the pad starts, there's a sound effect comes in uh, called Siren Drone. That is indeed a, a, a factory preset. The next patch that I used was an edit of a, a preset called Aftermath. A quick way of uh, searching for your own sounds is to select U for user. B stands for the basics library that comes with it. It's quite a comprehensive library. It's not very basic. If I s just select U for user, you'll see that there's Aftermath Edit. And if I load that up, it sounds like this. For the next track I recorded myself saying Novum and put it through the comb filter. So this was it before it went through the comb filter. Novum. So the uh, apparent echoes are actually the grains that are repeating the last section of the sound. And if I bring up the uh, comb filter, you can see I can get sort of a robot type effect by introducing that bit of feedback and... So you can just tune that to fit into your... Uh, it into your track for instant robot voices. So let's have a quick listen to that track.
So that's a first look at Novum from Dawson, a synth that in my opinion excels at pads and creative soundscapes, and rewards experimentation and creative programming, topped off with that gorgeous cloud-style reverb. Please drop a like on the video, share and subscribe to the channel if you feel drawn to do so. All that remains is to thank Dawson for providing me with a pre-release copy of Novum, and to thank you for your time. So until the next video, thanks for watching.